And when you talk about governance, one of the things I've said to you, governance is about people. All you need to do to have to be able to govern very well is to have empathy. The moment you care for the people and you make the people the focus, everything is done, every other thing. He has led an MBA. MBA was, I don't want to, I'm, I'm, I'm being very mindful of the words I'm using because I'm on your show right now. If, it was, if I was talking on my own, I would have used it. MBA was such a disappointment until Olumide Akbata came in. And he turned it around within that very short period. We saw how MBA became what he was supposed to be. And immediately after he left, MBA went back to being the mouthpiece of but the he, During his time, he was, be, he was being accused of alleged involvement in corruption. There was a certain lady, I'm trying to remember her name, who came out on national television several times to accuse him of alleged corruption and all of that. You don't see that as a dent on his profile that you're projecting. So the thing is that in Nigeria, we've gotten to a place where everybody literally almost gets being accused of corruption. I'm currently being accused of corruption. I've never, and they do it all the time. And they'll put it out there. They will say, accusation, when you accuse somebody, bring out the this thing. If he has been corrupt, that's a different thing. But he hasn't. You just see a lady and you don't even know the name. You're the journalist that's supposed to find out. You don't even know the name of the lady. But you say, oh, he has been accused of corruption. And that puts a blanket statement. And that's it. We must go be beyond that. At the end of the day, we are talking about someone who has stood. He has competence. He has character. He has capacity. He has walked every step and come to meet the people. That's what is most important. And he's saying to the people, give me your mandate. I will work for you. This is not about Olumide Abata right now. This is about Edo people. 21st of September 2024 is going to be Freedom Day because that's the day that you're going to go out there and get your own freedom. Freedom from people who think that they own this country. Freedom from people who think that they own the state. Freedom for people who think you as a citizen, you do not matter, your vote don't matter. Power belongs to the people, my brother. Power belongs to the people, not some, not some puppet masters, not some godfathers who stay in one place and decide who is it that become that is supposed to be your government, whether they can speak English, they can, whether they're intelligent or not. Somebody said it's going to give you insecurity. And one of the things I say in life that when somebody tells you something, believe them. When, the, <laughs> when, when Tinubu said that he was going to reduce the purchasing power of citizens, what did Nigerians do? We laughed over it. You know the way you're, 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 you're chuckling, right? Now we laughed over, we thought it was a mistake, whatever. But guess what? The purchasing power of citizens has been reduced, and now the same APC candidate, the gubernatorial candidate, has just said to us that it's going to give us insecurity. With all the insecurities that we have in, in, in Edo State, we don't have, we don't need more of that. The other one, PDP, we have someone who has been, you know, economic advisor. If the economy of the people aren't changing, what are you coming to advise? What are you going to advocate? We keep saying that our oh, people don't have uh, governance experience because they have not been in position of uh, office, you know, public office. Private sector, it's almost the way, what it is. It's a microcosm of what the public sector that you have. So if you've been able to lead in your private sector, definitely you will be able okay. to. So let, let's, one of the things I'll just round up here to say before you go to your next question is yeah. that this election, it's about Nigerians, it's about Edo people realizing the power that they have and fighting for a chance to have a decent life and this can be done and let's not do what some people did before to say oh i think this person i think olimide akpata is good but no don't bet anything don't think about anything you are you are one you are in one person you're important that your thumbprint is all the power there is just put it on that place where you have uh, mama papa picking.